Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to attempt to do a cleaning on an indoor blower for an LG Multi-V system. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. As you can see the ceiling had to be cut down. Unfortunately I need the access right here to get inside this area. So right here is our blower section. So there is our filter. And let's pull out that filter just so I can show you the condition of this machine. So this is after the filter. Look at this, this is incredible. So I'm not sure if you guys can see through the video, but look at the squirrel cage fan blades. They're caked up, I will leave a picture so you guys can see clear but pretty much we have very poor airflow and I cannot see the coil but if this is what it looks like after the filter and in the blower housing and the fan blade that coil must be packed so I want to try to remove this it's just very difficult access in here it's just unfortunate that I need this area open to get in here you see it's very difficult to get in there but let's try to possibly open up these screws and see if we have any better access okay that is definitely better and we got some Phillips screws there. Let's see what we can get to. Man, these blades are terrible. All right, so we're trying to figure out how to get to the coil. How would these motors be replaced, right? Maybe I could take off these screws, see if I can get under here. But for now, if you can see we have a green light in there. Let's turn the power off. There's a switch right there. And the light just went away. Let's give it a few minutes. It probably needs to de energize. But I'm probably going to disconnect the two motors. There's one motor, here's a second motor, disconnect the two motors. And then we'll probably be able to pull this out. But I'm going to see what's behind here if there's anything. So that's what it looks like. Got the foam. So the coil is definitely behind there. So maybe now we're going to have access to get behind this plate. I was thinking if we can remove this out of the way and then we're going to have access to that side of the coil. So as far as this motor bracket, there's two screws above on top. So that would definitely take down the motor bracket. And then there's some screws on the side of these motors right here. These screws. And I think I might be able to get access through like this window. Uh, preferably I would like to try to get this whole plate off just opened up this tab I still can't see anything in here and I don't know if this plate can come out it looks like it's attached to this it's pretty crazy anyways there's four screws here I'm gonna try to take that out to pull the motor out and see if I could just peek in there at least for now okay there we have it There's the first one. Let's keep that just like that. Let's see if we have some sort of access. All right, so I was able to take out the blower wheel, but I really want to be able to take out this plate. I really can't, but I could access the coil here. There's definitely dirt in there, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. And you know what, that's a good thing. But yeah, look at that. So if you, look, if you look closely, if you look closely, there's a screw right here and it's coming in from the opposite way. This plate is not supposed to come off. Don't tell me the way to clean this is from the top. You gotta clean this from the top or you gotta take out the blower and just give it a rinse right there 
Well, that's looking like the only way. This thing is looking like a nightmare. Typically, I could take off this whole bracket and boom, it comes out. But if you follow it, it looks like this is the same plate. They don't want you taking this off. And I took out some screws here. And look at this. Got like a little transformer looking thing. They don't want you taking off this plate. This is not good. As far as this bracket, there is screws on top. So I'm wondering, do you gotta take off the top of this to actually properly clean this? Until I figure out a better idea, if anyone in the comments has a better solution for this, definitely leave a comment. But it looks like right now I'm gonna disconnect the wires so we can release these motors. And I'm just gonna pull these out, open up these little openings. And from there, we're just gonna clean with whatever access we have. That's the best I can do. Let's bring this down. So pretty much what I did is I took off the four screws, right? The four screws, one, two, three, four. And that loosened up the motor. And then I took off the four screws around the housing and everything came down. Let's trace this out to the board. Look how dusty this is as well. We're gonna get an air compressor and blow this out. But let's trace this out and disconnect everything. You guys could even see anything. So those are the two fan motors right there. Got these two little clips here. Kind of just press them in and it pops open. There we go. And the next one is out. the noise this thing is really loud but I got the fan blowers here and I got an air compressor I'm gonna start by blowing them out with dry air oh my gosh we blow it out with the air compressor but we still have some dirt but then I just rinsed this off I covered this motor with some plastic and I just quickly rinsed it off but look at the difference this thing looks brand new definitely have airflow once again all right so the blower fan blades everything is nice and clean I got a wet vac here so as far as that I only access through those holes do you see all that dirt in there? Look at that. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try to vacuum that out, brush it down, get all the stuff out, and give this thing a quick rinse. The coil's not that bad. It's gotta get rid of that thick stuff. And whatever dirt might be laying around here, like this stuff, 
should clean that as well. But I was brushing up there. This whole condensate pan just came down. So this is a little pump. Look how dirty that pan is. Oh, oh my God. We gotta clean this. All right, so that's the condens that's the condensate pump. Let's pull this whole thing out. I took off the two screws that are holding this. I'm supposed to take these studs down, man. Definitely got some nice dirt along this coil. Let's go ahead and clean this up, brush it down, and blow it out. But honestly, it's looking pretty good. We're gonna blow it out with fresh air with the compressor. And after we get the condensate pan in here, we're gonna run some fresh water through it and we should be okay. The main thing was those fan blades because we had really no airflow with that. of dirt came out of there let's clean this up I got my air compressor hooked up as well just look how dusty this control panel is I'm gonna blow out the coil with air also let's hit this real quick Say pan in there and look how nice and clean that is that's a beautiful thing I'm gonna pick that up put the screws in and give this coil a nice little quick rinse all right using the subco portal blaster takes water from that bucket and here's the handle let's go ahead and give this thing a quick rinse all right, let's give this thing a quick rinse <laughs> Alright guys, there's that coil, looking nice and fresh. Alright, we're going to start with putting these three back and putting on the four screws for them. So here's the bracket. So right there, let's get the motor in place. And then we can close up the rest. All right, let's get all the screws in. Make sure that's all in right. And we're gonna proceed. It's gonna be a little tricky to get. angle right there and let's cl clip it in right there that one's done all right now we're gonna put the next one in all right that's all closed up closed up the electrical panel and man does this look better look at those blowers beautiful Alright, just started the unit, as you can see, 
we are spinning we're gonna go ahead and check some temps but let me go ahead and quickly get this fan back on I wanted to make sure that both motors were running all right here's the supply air vent this is absolutely incredible I feel a good amount of air here and it's cold that's perfect before you barely got any air movement you can't even feel like anything is here but now we have beautiful airflow that made a tremendous difference those fan blades were terrible as far as this machine we're gonna wrap this one up here if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week I'll catch you all next time